Hey, what's going on, guys? Thrash back here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to a new video where today we're talking some more squad battles. I'm going to tell you how to get the maximum points per game in squad battles. I'm going to tell you how to get as many points as possible. Now, what's really cool is EA has updated the game today. NHL 20 got a big content update, and they now show you the maximum amount of points you can get per game. So if you play on Rookie, the most you can get is 542. Then 820 for semi-pro. Um, pro is 1049. All-star is 1603. And superstar is 2272. And that's part one. You want to get the most points, you have to play on superstar. Now you can get double the points by playing the, uh, the featured squad of the week. 4608 is the maximum you can get for playing and beating this team. Again, you have to play on Superstar. And how you're going to get the most amount of points is 1. Play on Superstar. 2. You need to win the game. You get a lot more points for winning than you do for losing, naturally. 3. Score 5 goals. 4. Get 20 shots on goal. You need to have at least 20 shots in the game to get the maximum amount of points. And number five, and this is the one that I find a lot of people have difficulty with, is win by five or more goals. So you can score five goals in a game, and that's great. You'll get some points. You'll get a lot of points for that. But if you don't win by at least five, a goal differential of five, well, you're not going to uh, you're not going to get the maximum rewards. And this is all something that I found out on the EA website when they were talking about squad battles. You can see I've played zero games on this account. I am going to play one. Um, just for just for kicks i might as well get the free packs for this account you know what i mean uh this is my hut warriors account so i might as well play a couple games you know whatever who cares i could probably get i mean even getting here i mean that, that, that'll help out the how about the series right so that would be fine if i play one game i can get up here that's cool hell if you don't even you just play a game and lose you get a pack so i mean you might as well do it right but Score five goals while winning the game, while winning by five or more goals and getting 20 shots on goal and playing on Superstar. Holy hell, that's a lot to do, right? It's really not that bad. I mean, I, I I play Superstar. Don't get me wrong. I Every game I play Superstar because that's the maximum, that's the best way to do it, right? You get more points for playing Superstar. What I would say is if you're having trouble with squad battles, playing on Superstar, if you're having trouble with that, go down to All-Star. Now, you're not going to get the most amount of points, but you'll get way more points for winning on All-Star than you will for losing on Superstar. And you don't want to have to go and replay the game. You don't want to have to spend coin to replay the Superstar game and stuff like that. So, your best bet, if you can't win on Superstar right now, practice on All-Star, wait a few weeks, and then jump into Superstar later and try and get it done. Now, every week you're going to get a different um, featured battle. My suggestion for that Play that on Superstar. Now that's gonna be really hard. If you can beat this one on Superstar, look at the difference in points. That's a big jump. The maximum you can get on Rookie is 1100. The maximum you can get on Superstar is 4600. That's a huge jump. Those extra three, 3500 points really. The extra 3500 points is gonna give you a different rank almost. You might as well do your best. If you're gonna play one game on Superstar, make sure it is the featured squad. If you want to play All-Star on these ones, that's totally fine. You don't get, you know, 2,000 points per game, but you still get a decent amount. And as long as you play all of your games, you should be able to get at least, I would say, Pro 1 to Elite 3. You'll get somewhere in here, which is some really good rewards. Those uh, yellow and blue packs in the middle there, those are insane packs. So hopefully you can get one of those. Now, like I said, this is just a quick video. I wanted to get this out there. A lot of people ask me how to get the maximum amount of points. This is it. Win by five goals in the game, and that's really going to help you out. Scoring the five goals is probably the hard part, and then, you know, saving all the, the shots. Now, what I like to do, and something that you guys can try out, is once you are up by five, or you score your five goals and you don't want to play anymore, put the controller down. A lot of times, the computer just kind of sits around and does nothing. Now, they're not always going to do that. You got to pay attention. But put the controller down, relax. A lot of times, the, the computer just kind of chills. And then you can just finish off the period, finish off the game, without having to play the game, without giving up more goals, without having to play defense, any of that. It, it's just, it just seems to be easier. That's the best way to do it, in my opinion. But again, you want the maximum points. Play on Superstar. If you can't get it done on Superstar, All-Star is not a bad option. Get a decent amount of points for that as well. Anything under All-Star, though, you're not going to be getting any of the top rewards. And trust me, some of the packs that you can get are just insane. You're going to want those top rewards. 
anyways guys that is gonna do it for the video thank you so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed if you have any other questions about squad battles leave them down below i will do my best to answer them and let me know what your best pull has been lately in squad battle packs because let's be honest these packs they're pretty good anyways guys thanks for watching i'll see you later